Uh, my name is Shai Kang Sarda, and today I'm going to introduce you to my uh, Physics 212 project, uh, which is about STM. STM is abbreviated form of the scanning tunneling microscope. And as you see here, we have built the, um, the simple model of the scanning tunneling microscope. And so the scanning tunneling microscope is based on the tunneling uh, theory, theory of tunneling, where the oscillating waves pass through the potential barriers where it classically shouldn't. And in this case, our sample will be the other hand of the potential barrier and the tip, which is main equipment of scanning, it will be the, um, the right hand of the, um, well, right hand of the potential barrier. Uh, the potential barrier will be the air between the sample and the tip. So as the tip approaches the sample, um, as the, uh, it will encounter the tunneling uh, current because the current we are sending through the tip is oscillating. So we used approaching mechanism here. Uh, we printed, we printed uh, the tripod where it approaches the uh, sample and we landed, uh, I mean, we glued the piezoelectric to the top of, I mean, the bottom of the upper part of the, um, the tripod. And what it does is we have um, cut it to the four quadrants, where each quadrant, um, um, well, each quadrant makes sure that the tip moves to the X, Y direction, but I will come to it uh, later. So as we move the tripod closer, now we, the space is so small that we can't use it even more with the screws that we are using. So we need to use the piezoelectric material to, um, to approach the uh, sample. So basically, the sample is not smooth, of course, and there are bumps and uh, some uh, relief on the sample. And we'll see the change of the current here. So that's why that as the tip moves around by the x y uh, that we x y direction that we generate from the um, the circuit here that we use, so we move the tip around with the low frequencies, um, and as we encounter into the bumps, z direction changes of course. But we want to keep the z direction connect. Uh, I mean, we want to keep the z distance constant, but it's not changing uh, because of the um, tunneling current. So as we go, the tunneling current that we are getting from uh, will change, will vary. And this will be the, uh, the surface of the sample that we are scanning on the one line. But if we try to get the whole image uh, of the sample, we'll just uh, use the um, piezoelectric, as I told you before to move it around and get the whole image uh, by scanning it. So this is how it works. We just um, apply the signal and uh, as the signal goes there and the tip moves around, um, the variations on the sample sent to the feedback loop where feedback loop try to, tries to um, keep the Z constant, but by keeping the Z constant, they will have the oscillations in the current because of the bumps and that's why uh, and this is how we'll get the line but uh, in this case because of the our environment wasn't uh, noise free we couldn't get the clear image we had a lot of oscillations uh, and disturbances to the system usually it is done in the environment of vacuum but uh, our, we couldn't manage to do it uh, and this is basically how it is. Yeah.